is Tamika. I am here to share with you a super cute project I created. My very first time created creating a loaded envelope. I have watched so many tutorials uh, and and reveals on the loaded envelope. So thank you to all the ladies who helped me get through this project, which was quite difficult. Um, I had been on a few Facebook groups and they were doing swaths with these loaded envelopes and then of course the flip books and the bag flips and all that stuff and I hadn't dived into that because I just hadn't and I said you know I really want to give loaded envelope a try so I contacted um, Kristen who is a Facebook friend of mine she's been in several YouTube swaps um, but she does not have a YouTube channel she was kind of grandfathered in before I came up with the you got to have a YouTube channel thing but she's never been late and she's been in quite a few and she likes Shabby and I love her work so I asked her if um, she wanted to swap loaded envelopes with me and lo and behold she hadn't created one either so it was just two newbies making envelopes and then um, we couldn't decide on a theme, and like I said, we both like shabby. So, and she, um, I wanted the the sweet treat kind of mixed in. I couldn't decide either, so we just combined them together. So we have a shabby chic sweet treat loaded envelope swap. Say that three times fast. So, um, it was it was quite interesting. I enjoyed uh, making the items that I did, but like I said, it was a struggle, and I'm glad it's over. And I hope she likes what I created because I love it. So, some of the items that I used in this project are, I used this Melissa Francis, um, it's the Sweet Life paper collection. I only had one 12 by 12 that I found on scrapbook.com. There is no other paper anywhere that I can find, and I love this paper, and I'm sad that I didn't get it um, when it came out. But I found one sheet because when you're looking for something, you never know you need it until you're looking for it. So I just Googled like sweet paper, craft treats, ballerina paper, you know, that stuff. And there was one person that had a 12 by 12. So I used that for the front of my envelope. And then, but I did find um, two of these uh, wrapping papers. So the other, the other one I used as the back because that 12 by 12 only covers the front of my loaded envelope. But the other, um, this piece here, I used on the back of the envelope. So it can kind of coordinate. And this wrapping paper I'm going to use to wrap some of her goodies in inside the box. So uh, for the loaded envelope, we had to do five embellishments, some tags. A currently, I don't even know if a currently belongs in a loaded envelope, but we did. And we had to do $10 in goodies. So I'm going to wrap some of her goodies in the rest of this wrapping paper. And that'll be the end of that um, paper. And so I also use this authentic paper called Sweetness 6x6. This is an old paper and it was perfect because it has a lot of the um, pretty shabby colors that I love. And it has a lot of sweet notations in it. You know, sh um, lots of little sweet treats in this. So that's what I use, authentic called Sweetness. And then um, another thing that I used is these digital papers, which I'm really getting into using. This particular one is from the Digital Collage Club. .com. It's where you can find her, www.digitalcollageclub.com. I actually used some of her stuff in the Halloween um, swap that I did. I've, I love her vivid images, and they were awesome. So... Um, I'll put a link to her shop in the description box because she has asked if I would play with some of her files and I said yes and this was perfect um, because I found in thumbing through her files I found sweet treats. I was like, oh, it's like the perfect, boom, perfect match. So I use a lot of her elements. These, this is uh, some of the stuff that I have left and these are one by one inch squares. Well, I print them out a little bit bigger, but these are one by one inch squares, and they have a lot of these sweet treats on them. See how vivid the images are? Like, I love them. So you can cut them out, you can make shakers, all that kind of stuff with it. And then I used, you'll see these on the loaded envelope, but some of her little cupcakes are on here. Um, but do check it out. I will be playing more with her images. Um, I'm finding that, as you guys know, I've been working with the images for a couple of videos here. But I'm finding that I love the instantness of the digital because I can find what I need, get the colors that I want, and download it and print it off. And I'll have it right then and there. So I love it. So check her out. Her link will be in the description box. All right. On to my shabby envelope, which I love. Ta-da! <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, I clapped. You know it. It is so pretty. Like, I love how this turned out. So, Kristen, if you don't like it, just RTS, return to sender. Girl, I'll play with all of this. <laughs> so, a lot of you on Instagram will have seen the process of this. So, like, I put, like, the bare... The butt naked uh, envelope up and I put like the little embellishments that I've been working on along the way. So if you're not a friend of mine on Instagram, click the link below. Let's be buddies. But so some of you guys just may be repeat. So first I'm going to, so this can be flat on the back. I'm going to flip this over and get the, um, this is how my back looks. I'm, I'm hoping that's how things are supposed to go. I have, look down here, I have one of the, um, this is taped in. This is a, I altered a butterfly, I mean, this is a resin piece with a banner on a paper clip, like a butterfly clip, and then this is one of her pieces here, um, this cute little cupcake, it was perfect, and then I have some gold um, annotations, or annotations, I have some gold flecks in the loaded envelope, so I thought this bag would be perfect, which I got from Hobby Lobby, and then I just added some goodies in the back of the envelope, because I saw that everyone else was doing that, so I added these little goodies in here for her this is a cute clean stamp that I love so that's that's what she has in here and then I have some goodies in the box that she's gonna get when she opens and that's what I'm gonna use to wrap uh, with the wrapping paper so starting off at the front and I took a picture of this so that I will know how I had it because this is not pro probably how it's gonna be shipped I'm gonna try to find a box but anyway neither here nor there so this is what it looks like how she'll how I, how it should look when you get it so on the side here oh first let me tell you I followed a tutorial because I didn't like the six by nine envelopes they were too flimsy for me I didn't like those and um, I made mine out of 120 pound cardstock following a tutorial by Michelle Randolph so I'll put the link below in the description box because she made a phenomenal loaded envelope and I loved hers I put I will actually put a link to all of the ladies that I uploaded envelopes that I absolutely fell in love with so you guys can see the inspiration that I saw because I like to do that because I like to share anyway so here is a charm this charm came in a swap as a hostess goodie so it's in this bucket of stuff that I have right there like it's a big bucket of little things that I can little tidbits that comes in like the swaps and stuff that I can use so I cannot tell you where this came from but it's super cute it has happy it's a bobble and it's pink and glitter and it worked perfectly on this all I did was punch a hole and put an eyelet in here and then put this through there so that's how it looks okay and then I made um some pinwheels I used these straws from the DIY shop and I got these from Tuesday morning nope TJ Maxx Paper, gold paper straws they're really cute and um, I made the pinwheels using the pinwheel die that I just showed in my haul so that's one of the pinwheels using that sweet paper shop in a little brad and then I just handmade another pinwheel that was a bit larger and then I used the um, it's actually a wood piece that I used the paper on here from the authentic and I made a little resin uh, what do you call it just a piece of paper I laid on top and added glossy accents to. And then here is the pinwheel. I love how this was like perfectly cut out as the car the cream par ice cream parlor. And it's just, it was just perfect right there. So I'm like, ah! And because I was going to keep it out because I thought it was a little big, but out the way it looks cute. So those are my two pinwheels. I don't know what she's going to do with those, but there they are. So one of the embellishments that I made is this flower clip so that's the back I added that paper and a scallop this actually was inspired by a tutorial from twins for me too and she got it from somebody else I'll just put the twins for me video down there and then you can follow along the wave of where she got it from but really cute um, eyelash trim and then a rosette really really cute so this is one of your embellishments you can use it anywhere but I thought it would look perfect there and I didn't wrap that up I wrapped up the rest of the embellishments but I didn't wrap that up all right and then another one of the embellishments are these little all oh, these are cute 
Now this is, um, you can get these also from the Digital Collage Club. These are random. They come from a couple other places that I had in my stash. But if you're interested in the cake stuff, um, check out the Digital Collage Club. But here are three of, um, I'll open it up. I have these in tiny little bags. So all I did was layer a scalloped punch, about, you know, two pieces of chipboard, two pieces of pattern paper and then I covered it in glossy accents see it's covered beautifully I might add and I just put a pop dot underneath to hold it on there and then she can use this scallop as on a card or a sweet a sweet little note that she wants to give to someone so I thought that was adorable to be able to have that at her disposal so all that is is just putting that back in here and then she can washi tape or put that back on the washi tape so this is a um some cake a cupcake and then i have some donuts and they're all the same been glossy accented and whatnot all right going up the level super cute this is one of the chipboard pieces that came in the sweet life collection that i had um found actually at um oh i found this at what's the big expo last year it was just these die cuts so I was able to use that and then this is a, these two are just two different die cuts that I put together I have some lace here with some flat back pearls in the center I have some eyelash trim that's Melissa Francis as well and I use the rest of it on this flower here and then some um, ribbon here on the side in between the envelope to kind of give it an extra little flare so this is the one piece of the 12 by 12 that I found that I use on this because this is six by nine all right, for the tags, so I just um, cut out a tag um, in my cameo, and I added some hole reinforcers. I actually cut it out twice, and then I layered the front with a smaller piece of pattern paper, digital paper, and then I punched a little heart, added some gold wing Costella on it, and then some more of that trim that's on the side of this envelope. I, t I tacked at the top through the hole reinforcer. And then this is one of the little images. Super cute. It says Paris. I added a little heart so you can know that that pulls. She can add a journaling or whatever onto that if she do so pleases. And then I just finished it off with a gold star. Just to kind of keep everything together. And then the tie in some of that gold that I have. The other tag is very similar. I use this piece. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that water paper color cake. It says Sweet Art in the middle. I put the tag right in the middle and cut around it so I can get that juiciness right there. Then I just added a little bowl from there. I got that from a doodad bag from Audrey who was so good all. And then I added some more of these little um, cupcakes. Backed it up with some cardstock. And then I put another little small cupcake on the front of this envelope. And then inside the envelope are more of the die cut pieces, the digital pieces, and then a little note cut out with the same um, envelope paper or the same paper that I used in the envelope. So that goes in there, cute little envelope, and then all this pieces back together on the tag. Super cute and adorable. I love it. All right. Next up are some handmade buttons and I've already closed these together but you guys can see these these are um cute little paper background I love it um these buttons I made with let me see if I have it a kit that you can get hold on I have to learn to stop talking when I'm wrinkling because you can't hear me this kit is a craft cover button kit I got from Joann's and everything is included. There's a little blue push tool. I left that at work because I did the buttons at work. Um, but everything is included in here that you need to make your paper or fabric button. And you get a lot of them in there. There's 18 buttons, 18 backs, 18 shanks, and then the template is in there of how big you need to make your paper, the tools that you need to make it. So I used some shabby digital paper that I had and it works out perfectly because this matches that just 
awesomely. So I just made four of these buttons, two in like the blue polka dots and then two in the um, with the rose hint on the edge. I love this. It's super cute. So that's another embellishment. And then here is a, this is my currently. So let me see. I didn't know, I was trying to Google currently to see if there was like a standard sheet. It kept coming up with like some of these random questions. So I just put the questions, wrote them out and just called it a day. This is, um, this says sweet cake. And then I use another chipboard piece from the Melissa Francis Sweet Life. And then on the back is my little tag that I made, um, using the graphic stocks, um, images. So, so that's what I made these cute little things and she can find me there, but she know where I am. So I just did this for the inside. So I'm currently watching Revenge on Netflix. I'm listening to Jill Scott. I'm loving clean crafts, meaning like clean and simple with a touch of shabby, but I'm loving more of the clean, clean look. And um, I'm planning a friend getaway and I'm wishing a spa treatment. I really would like just to take like two hours and get like a facial, a back massage, my feet done, like a whole thing. So that's what I'm wishing. I'm thinking about the future, just moving out of the state and college with the kids and that kind of stuff and then I'm reading um Zane Afterburn so I just signed it and I have another little piece over here cute and then that's the back so I think that is all that's included in the in the currently but I mean that's enough information I think if it's not that's enough I'm gonna do that later so uh, another set of embellishments are my altered hearts. I love these. They're two inch hearts. And then I have them um, here. We can open this. Here's that paper that I made the buttons out of. Really cute. So here's the hearts. I didn't, I gl the heart, the flowers are already glittered. I didn't do too much of the glitter. She can do that because I didn't know if she wanted them all super shimmery. So I have the, I think it's like six layers of the hearts to make them sturdy, popped out underneath. And then I have some flowers. I have some fabric, some of these things that I don't know, these stems. And then I have some tiny little pearl beads coming out the bottom. And I think they are absolutely gorgeous. So you can see some of the sparkle on the flowers on there. So um, that's another embellishment. I, I, it's still it's still five but the quantity is a little off so she has something to play with if she wants to play with them more than one project and then the final embellishment I have are these stinking cute bows and this paper background is perfect for the swap and these little bows look like edible little, little confetti and look at all the shimmer that's behind there um, on that it's gorgeous the bows are shimmery super cute here Let's just open them without the glare. Look at that. Ta-da! Gorgeous. They are gorgeous. I love them. They're double bows. You can get these at the Cutting Cafe shop. I will also put a link down in the description box with everything else. I love these bows. They are perfect for um, embellishment because you can use these sweet little things on anything. So that wraps up my um, swap my sweet my loaded envelope shabby chic sweet swap something like that and this is what it looks like without all the stuff in it look at that thick profile here it's sturdy paper here's the back that's why I use the wrapping paper there and there we go super cute so um, you guys let me know if you've ever created a loaded envelope um, I'd love to know leave a little comment down below I'll come check yours out and what did you think of um, what did you think of this envelope? I'd love to hear that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Check all the zillion links that will be in the description box. And um, I will see you guys soon. Have a good day. Bye.